Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. In this short video, I would like to show you how to create and calculate a field in an access table. That is the important part here. It's a table, not a query. Before we get started, um, I would like to mention that it is in, in, in most of the cases, it is much better to use a query to do your calculations. There are only very few cases um, where you would actually use a table to put a calculated field into. Okay, that being said, um, let's look how it is done. I prepared a little demo here. It's just a table. I open that table in design view and there's a column some date. And today I would like to show you how to create a calculated column in this table that calculates the quarter of that date. The first step you do is enter a name for your column. I call that simply calculated quarter. And now the data type is calculated. And the moment I chose calculated, this expression builder pops up and supports me uh, creating that expression. If you accidentally close it, no worries. You can always go back to the expression uh, row in the field properties and click the three dots. And that's, that will bring up the expression builder. I'm usually not a big fan of the expression builder and I hardly use it at all. But um, when creating a calculated field in a table, it is actually helpful because there are only limited um, functions available in, in the um, expression builder for a table field. So, I said I would like to uh, calculate the quarter or from that date. And usually that would be fairly easy. I just paste in the expression I would usually use for that, the format format function. And I pass it the, the column. It is, um, in this case, it's some date. And um, the format I use is Q for quarter. That would work in a query and very simple, easy and um, no big fuss, but it does not work here. And now um, back to the, the expression builder, you can um, select the built-in functions and scroll through this list. And that are actually all the functions that are available here. And you see the format function is not in here. So I can't use this expression. I need to come up with something th something else. And um, what I thought is a pure mathematical uh, calculation. Um, we start with the month of the sum date column, and then we subtract one. And now we... Um, we uh, divide this by three. And finally, we round this, the result from this expression up, but it's not strictly rounding, but I want to, um, want to reach the, the next integer value. So I add 0 0.51 that will, um, cause the round function to round up in, in um, if it's an integer number resulting from uh, months minus one divided by three, then uh, that will be rounded up. And um, just with, with this expression, this will uh, produce the correct results. That is nothing you can use for any calculation in general. It's just for, for the limited set of 12 months that will uh, give you the quarter. And these are actually um, all functions that are supported in the calculated field. In it. Oh, there are some missing brackets in here. One needs to go here and another one in here. Oh, there's a tiny bit wrong here. That is only for my regional settings. 
Um, it would be correct if you got uh, English settings to use the dot here, but I need to put a comma in here because I've got German language settings and we use the comma as a decimal separator. So change that and now it should work fine. I sh should definitely change the return value of that function to integer. You should use whatever your expression um, returns and now I can save the table and um, close it and if I now open the table and datasheet view you see here is my um, calculated quarter and there are lots and lots of pre-existing dates in there you see the quarter is calculated correctly anyway okay that is the main part um, how to create a calculated field in a table now let's do a very, very quick look at some VBA code because you can create a calculated field in a table with VBA as well. You simply create a DAO field object and um, the, the only special thing is that you set the expression of that field object. Then you finally append that new created field to the table. And this is actually the, the same expression as I used before. And so that is how you would create the calculated field with VBA. You cannot, however, create a calculated field in Access with pure SQL. So let's come back to the thing I said in the beginning that you should not use calculated fields in tables. The reason for that is that I think it is much better application design to separate the data from the logic. So the data goes into the tables and database tables are quite different from spreadsheet tables. You just store data in your tables, nothing else. And then you put another layer on top of that. That would be uh, the queries where you can do any calculation. So there are very, very few exceptions where you might want to put a calculated column into a table. Um, one is, I think, if you have got a table where the calculated column is absolutely essential to the data, where you will need that calculated column absolutely everywhere, then you might consider um, putting it right into the table because it's at the lowest level and next to the data. But um, I wouldn't do that. And um, another reason to use calculated fields in a table is if you are just providing the data model and some end users or some some other people who are not as proficient in access as you are um, are going to build queries on top of that and uh, the main reason to use calculated table fields then is that you can put some essential calculations right at the table level and wherever the table is used that calculation will be available right away and um, that reduces the risk that um, someone else creates a query with that calculation and then um, creates another query with the same calculation and another one repeating that calculation over and over again and um, if that has to be changed someday then there are lots and lots of different places where you need to look for that calculation and maybe uh, some of them were even implemented wrong or in, uh, in an inefficient manner so that might be a reason to use a calculated field in a table well okay one last thing this feature is new in access 2010 so it will not work in any previous version of access and if you create a calculated field in your table um, someone using a older version of access let's say access 27 um, it will not work you will not be able to open that table there will be an error message and you can't open that so you should use those calculated fields only if you are sure that everybody will have at least access 2010 newer versions are fine access 2013 2016 
they are compatible in that regard, but not the older ones. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, maybe you would like to consider to uh, subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.